Hi guys, what's going on? Welcome back to this brand new Android Studio library tutorial. And today in this video, I will show you that how to actually use a scrolling image view in our Android application. So first off, I will show you that how it actually look inside in our Android app once we actually done. So as you can see right now on the screen, you have a Android application which has nothing, just a image view. And you can see that image is scrolling from the right to left or left to right okay now let's go and have a look at how we can able to use that kind of scrolling image view in our android application so first off all you have to do is just go to this website which i have given link in the description below this video which is android scrolling image view it's a respiratory which is hosted by the q42 inside the github anyway all you have to do is that we have to you can see this is actually how it actually looks inside our android app okay so what we have to do is that we have to simply copy the compile dependency so just copy this compile now go back to android studio and inside the android studio you have to open the gradle and open the app level gradle file and by the update of the android studio into the latest version which is 3.0 we have the compile which is replaced with the implementation gradle has been updated in this latest version so what we have to do is that we have to paste our compile here and simply replace this compile with implementation so it is same as what it is before and uh, right now the gradle is much way faster so now anyway just click on the sync now okay now once it is completed just go back to the website again and now we have to add this maven respiratory so just copy this line go back to the project level of the gradle file and you will have to add it below this inside this respiratory so it will be something like this and now all you have to do is just add a new line and paste it here now click on the sync again now let's go to the website and now finally what we have to do is that we have to simply copy this thing now go back to android studio go to the text and right now i'm using a relative layout so i'm just going to paste it here so pasting here and you can see there is a little errors so first off what we have to do is that we have to add this this scrolling image view into the namespace so all we have to do is just click on this scrolling image view and press the left alt enter now just click on the create namespace declaration so now what we have to do here is simply type res and select this one which is this automatic or auto whatever else it is now the next thing is that we have to choose the image to be shown inside this scrolling image view so for this example i want to actually use the mip map image which is the ic launcher or we can say it is the icon of the android app so i want to select the mip map so ic launcher round i'm selecting the round one so you can use your own image that is actually hosted inside the drawable folder or anywhere else now next thing is that if you want to just customize the speed of this animation then you can change this 1dp into 2dp or things like that and finally uh, if you want to just customize the things according to you like if you want the scrolling to be stopper when a certain limit is exceeded or if you want the animations to be stopper when the user press the button or a user completely successfully download a file or something like that then you can just give the reference for the image scrolling image view inside the main activity and thereby you can control the actions so let me give you a quick idea you can see we have the this is how it actually you have to just add the declaration scrolling image view and if you want to stop it then you can use the stop method and if you want to start it again then you can use the dot start method so that's it so if you like this video then give it a big thumbs up and as always thanks for watching and i hope to see you in my next video peace out